Meet Mary Jackson. She was a super brain box mathematician and space engineer who worked at NASA for 34 years. Her calculations played a central part in the 1969 moon landing, and she wasn't just clever, she was determined too. She fought racial and sexual inequality to climb to the top of her field. So when the going gets tough, think of Mary and get inspired. Mary was born in Hampton, Virginia, and as a young girl she studied hard and graduated school with the highest honours. Then she went to Hampton University and by the time she was 21, she had a degree in maths and physical science. Now what was she going to do? In the 1940s it was still very much a man's world and there weren't many opportunities for clever women, let alone clever black women. She took a job teaching mathematics at an all-girls school in Maryland. When she was 30, she landed a job at the organisation that was soon to be known as NASA. That stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Here she worked as a research mathematician in the racially segregated West Area Computing section. But before long her talent was spotted and a senior engineer hired her to work in the supersonic pressure tunnel. That's a wind tunnel that studies the impact of very high winds on a model rocket. Kind of important if you're planning a trip to the moon. The engineer advised Mary to go back to college so that she too could qualify as an engineer. For this she had to take graduate classes in the evenings in maths and physics. The trouble was, they were at an all-white school. Was this going to put Mary off? What do you think? She got permission to join the class, she completed the course and was duly promoted and became NASA's first black woman aerospace engineer. And at the same time as working as an engineer, she wrote 12 highly technical papers with sizzling titles like The Effects of Nose Angle and Mach Number on Transition on Cones at Supersonic Speeds. Gotta read that one. After 34 years at NASA, Mary Jackson had got to the top of the engineering department, but she was always denied management positions. Women just couldn't get ahead. This inspirational woman wanted to put that right. She'd experienced inequality firsthand, remember? So she took a demotion to work on getting more women into NASA's science and engineering departments. The contribution this remarkable woman made, not just to getting man to the moon, but also to fighting racial inequality and helping women get to the top, gives us a shining example of how we can all make a difference in this world, no matter how big the obstacles. Thank you, Mary Jackson.